My name is Anne Musuva, and my project is about uplifting precious blood girls through sisterhood. I'm very privileged to be one of the 2023 Women Lift cohort ladies. My purpose is to create equitable systems for all to thrive and especially poor. I currently work at Finkel as a regional director, East and South in Africa. My work focuses on supporting countries in their journey towards universal health coverage through designing and implementing health financing reforms to make healthcare affordable for everyone. I'm also drawn to efforts to improve the plight of young vulnerable girls through supporting their education. I am married and I'm a mother to two feisty boys and a lovely girl. Allow me to give you a little bit of a context about my project. Makweni is one of the poor counties in Kenya, where 40% of the population lives in poverty. And the picture on my right is a picture not very far from my home or my parents' home in Makweni. Many high school girls struggle to complete high school due to lack of school fees, which often leads to high teenage pregnancy rates. Precious Blood Kilungu, my alma mater, is situated in Makweni. We currently have many girls from poor families dropping out of school because they cannot afford tuition fees. My project, therefore, is about starting an alumni scholarship fund to support at least 40 needy girls and keep them in high school. I'd also like to begin a mentorship program where alumni can mentor high school girls in various areas, including motivating them to complete school and thrive, supporting them with the necessary skills, such as SRH skills, to be able to navigate this complex phase in their life, and also providing career guidance. What have I done so far? I've engaged various alumni and my mentorship group as well within the Women Lift cohort to discuss the project and I've received valuable insights. I've developed a concept note for the scholarship in the mentorship program and shared this with the alumni committee. Part of what I've detailed in the concept note includes the fundraising model and the criteria for the selection of the needy girls. I joined the leadership committee of my high school alumni group to further this project and formed a scholarship subcommittee that I'm going to be leading. I've developed a governance structure for the scholarship fund. I've secured buy-in from the alumni leadership committee who are excited about this project. And I've already received pledges from various alumni that have spoken to about this project and many others who are willing to adopt a girl. Basically, walk her from form one, it might be grade eight, all the way to form four. So those are the four years of high school. In terms of next steps, I'd like to kick off the fundraising efforts and setting up the governance structure. In collaboration with the school, I'd like to kick off selection of the students who will be awarded the scholarship. So these will be the most needy students and identification of mentors will support the girls within this mentorship program. My leadership journey as part of one of the women in the 2023 cohort has been very useful in helping me further this project and in my leadership journey altogether. We were divided into mentor groups and the ladies within my mentor group provided very useful critique and feedback. One of the ladies, Elizabeth, for example, asked me, why do I want to confine the ladies to support the girls to alumni only? She told me, for example, that she'd be willing to adopt a girl, yet she was not a lady from my high school. And I realized that I'd thought about the project through a very narrow lens, and I needed to expand this further. Similarly, I'd only thought of women supporting these girls. But through some of the learning touch points that we've had within the project, or within this um, cohort, the Women Lift cohort, we learned about male allies and how male or um, uh, male colleagues and friends can also support us in our leadership journey 
and can also certainly support me in this project. My coach has been very instrumental in challenging me and in helping me create time for a project that is important to me, though I struggle um, with creating time for it. Thank you all for your time.